Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in my son's nursery, which is looking kind of bare because you can only see a wall behind me. But we are doing a makeover and I'm so excited for these makeover videos. I hope you guys are too, but we are studying in the nursery and I'm gonna show you what I have planned for him. He might join me as well because he's in the other room, but I have a few hacks that I wanna show you. I have an armchair that I wanna do up. I'm going to organize all of his clothes. Yeah, I'm so excited to share everything with you. So let's go ahead and get started. This is his nursery, which is quite tiny. So we had to work with the space that we had in here. Um, so what we got as far as furniture goes is this chest of drawers, which is from Ikea and it's called the Colin. Colin chest of drawers with a K. This is all of his clothes, his wardrobe. So we are very minimalist in that matter. I'm going to empty out everything and organize it as well. Then over here we've got his armchair, which is looking kind of rough. Um, this is something that was here when we moved in. And the only thing is I have actually cleaned it up. It might not look like it, but it is clean. I have used one of those um, carpet um, and sofa type of uh, cleaners with a brush and I've brushed it down I think a couple of times. So it's quite clean, I would say. Um, and it is looking rough. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> it is looking rough because it's quite worn down like um, the handles so i'm going to do a makeover on this as well and i've got a good hack to show you guys for that and then over here we have his crib which is also from ikea i'm going to leave the name of it down below because i can't remember <laughs> exactly but he's got his bedding from john lewis in case you are wondering and then over there at the bottom it's got two drawers which i'm going to organize a little bit as well first thing that i'm gonna do is show you how i do a makeover on the armchair because i think that's the most exciting part of it all i feel like most rental will have some sort of furniture that you are not going to like for example this one right here so I have actually tried this hack because I want to see if it works before I showed you guys so I am going to cover this up I was actually looking into getting something like upholstery or something for it but that's that can get quite expensive to get something custom made for your armchair they are all different sizes so you're not going to find most likely you're not going to find something in store that fits your uh, furniture perfectly so what I have got here is a very cheap throw that I got from Wilco. Um, I can't remember exactly how much this was, but I can look it up on their website and I'm going to put it right here, but I think it was quite cheap. And I'm going to use this to cover up that chair and you are going to be surprised by how good it can look. Um, and the key thing here when you are going to do this with your armchairs is get a throw that is super soft, um, like a very soft, I wouldn't say stretchy material, but just like the soft, fleecy type of fabric um, because that is going to mold perfectly onto your um, furniture if you get one of those really stiff blankets that's not going to work because they will not mold to the furniture so yeah this is what we are working with and my helper is coming right now <laughs> say hi hi you can see what he's waving Okay, I have put it up just roughly. Obviously, it's not going to stay like this. So just make sure you put it, um, I'm gonna try and show you, so that at the bottom, it kinda lines up with the sofa or the, you know, armchair. That's what I did, and then it's obviously going to have some excess on the sides, but we are working with that. So let's go ahead and see how it looks once I actually, you know, press down um, and kind of mold to the armchair. Where you've got excess material try to just kind of tuck it behind um like behind each other because if it's really wrinkly then it won't look so good but um i just tried to kind of tuck as much as i could away and then i've got um this kind of excess bit over here which i actually have a spot underneath where i can tuck it in so that's what i'm going to do just kind of try to make this side smooth and then i'm going to let's see fold like this and then I'm going to try and tuck it as much as I can um, underneath. Right. Hey, yeah. 
and this is what the finished product looks like now obviously it's not going to be perfect um but i don't mind that because um i just feel like it's nice to have it covered up it's really nice because for one you can wash that blanket if you feel like it's getting a little bit dirty you can just put it in the wash and um it's just uh, a lot more cozy and i just think it looks so much better i feel like it's a whole new chair honestly um and i'm obviously going to you know maybe tuck a bit more this is kind of like what i've done here i've just kind of tucked it like this uh, and kind of tucked it underneath and i feel like if you make the cushions stand out it looks like it's newly upholstered even though it's not and it's so so cheap to do this so yeah it obviously kind of helps that it's uh, leaning against the wall because the back is completely empty it's not covered with the blanket if you wanted to cover up the back as well i probably would have needed another blanket to do that but i think it looks so so much better like this in one of these drawers i've just put up some spare sheets and then in here i've got all of the diapers which as you can see we are running very low so i just got an order and i'm going to open it up and put everything in here thank you for the help look let's put them here can you put them in the drawer I don't even need to do his makeover, he's gonna do it himself. Okay, those drawers are done, his chair is done, now we're gonna Mommy. move on to his wardrobe. Mommy. Let's tackle the first drawer. So this is not too bad, I've actually kind of organized this uh, not too long ago. So I've got some uh, diaper bags here and then this one's empty. I actually got all of these organizers from Ikea in case you're wondering. And then I just have his charger and uh, this is the tablet that we use for uh, white noise at night. So I just keep that in here during the day and I have some water wipes like the spare one in here I've got his thermometer uh, some cloths and I have Pantan for nappy rash. Yeah, these are just his things. He actually has more socks, but they're in the wash So I'm not going to do too much in here but the two bottom ones need some huge clearing out because Almost none of these fit him anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through all of them, take them out and see what fits him and what doesn't. And then also here at the bottom, um, I mean, these are still fine, but I'm not sure about these. So I'm gonna go through them and see Okay, I've emptied out the drawers now. These Mommy. are things that kind of fit him, um, or they do fit him, but they're pretty much summer things, so shorts and just t-shirts. So I'm going to keep them for now because I think we still have a few weeks of um, like warm weather here. But once summer is gone and it's full on autumn, I'm going to give these away as well. So these I'm going to keep for now, but they're probably gonna go soon. And then I'm going to show you, um, if you have seen my toddler capsule wardrobe, then you, <laughs> if you've seen my toddler capsule wardrobe, you won't know, but this is all full of clothes, like new clothes for him that will fit him. So we're gonna go through all of this and put them um, in the drawers. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, you're so cool. Daddy, mommy. Daddy. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, wow. Okay, drawers done. I have organized everything in there. I'm going to show you. This is the bag of things that don't fit him anymore. So I'm going to uh, go and give this to just like some charity. I'm going to donate all of those. And then I'm going to show you. So I've actually already showed you in here. And then in here we've got his body suits. Um, both short sleeve and long sleeve over here. Then I've got the three sets of sweatshirt with sweatpants. Mommy. And then I've got his um, like cardigans. Mommy. Yeah. Mommy. Mommy. Are you a little bear? Mommy. 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 Can you say I love you? Daddy. Can you say two? Two. two. One. Two. two. He will not take off this fluffy jacket now. <laughs> Okay, before I was rudely interrupted, <laughs> he's got sweaters and cardigans over here. And then in the bottom drawer, I've just put a kind of like a random mixture of things. So these are things, um, some pants that still kind of fit him. I'm not sure for how long, but they're almost all right. <laughs> and then I've got his PJs over here and then some t-shirts and shorts that still fit um, him that's... again. And then the little towels over there. And I actually have a couple of hats that um, I haven't tried on him yet so I'm gonna have to see if they do fit him or not so that's his entire wardrobe okay. at the moment while I did all of that look at what my toddler has been Mommy. doing <laughs> now I have a whole bunch of other messes to clean up don't I This is an overview of the after, so uh, let's go ahead and give you another quick tour. Um, I'm going to start from here because I wanted to show you the black outlines. I have mentioned these before, they are from IKEA. Um, I'm going to leave a link or a name uh, below because they are really amazing and you can actually cut them up yourself and they are going to go with every single type of window that you have. So I think that's amazing, um, especially if you live in a rental flat like we do. And then um, in his crib, I didn't really change much except I organized the drawers. I've got his blanket over here and then um, the chair that I absolutely love. I really love how it turned out. And I think this uh, waffle throw goes really well here. So yeah, I think it looks so much better than it did before. And then we have this little elephant from Ikea as well that I kind of propped up in there. Although in two seconds, probably my toddler is going to come up and <laughs> rip him off. But I just put him there for a cute picture because, you know, doing it for the gram. <laughs> And then um, over on his dresser, we've got just a few bits because I wanted to kind of decorate it just a little bit. Obviously, this is a makeover on a budget, so I didn't want to go too crazy with decorations. Uh, plus, he doesn't really care that much, to be um, honest. It's mostly for us, <laughs> just so, um, you know, that it looks nice. So I've got this lamp. This is uh, from a Wilco. It was eight pounds super super cheap and i really like that it's so simple um just like a metal base and then it's got a white uh, top and then this print was actually a gift i got it from the little heart gallery um so yeah she gifted this to me um i will leave a link down below if you guys want to you know get one yourself but i think it's a really nice print to have in his room and then over here we've got some of his books um i actually don't really buy books anymore because we go to the library every single week and we get them from there so i don't feel the need to buy new books um, because he has new ones every single week and i think it's a really good tip um, if you want to save some money as well 
and then uh, yeah that's it on his dresser and then over here I've got a basket because I just really want to have a basket to throw things in I am a really big uh, believer in organized mess <laughs> So um, I feel like sometimes, for example, in the mornings, I will just kind of take off his PJs and they're just going to end up thrown on the floor. But if I have that basket, I will throw it in there and the whole room looks so much more organized. So yeah, I, I do think that makes a big difference. Um, and that basket is from TK Maxx, in case you are wondering. And yeah, that's his whole room done. That's about it for his nursery makeover. I think it looks so, so nice. I hope you guys do too. And I hope you are excited for my next videos in this um, makeover series because I'm going to do every single room of this flat. So stay tuned for that. Be subscribed so that you don't miss out. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.